gotta love to position that these mid-major schools, Boise State and TC, you gotta love to position that during if you are fans of those schools and not fans of of a um, Ohio State or a or or a uh, Alabama or a Florida or a Texas. Other than that, you gotta love the position that Boise State and TCU is in. Boise State enters in this week's game, um, the Labor Day game tomorrow night, as the third seed. And let's take a look. Um, let's take a look at their schedule here. Obviously, Virginia Tech is ranked number ten. Now, actually, I'll bring up something in just a second. After Virginia Tech, their toughest opponent left over after Virginia Tech is Oregon State. They may have a cup, and then they're in conference. You know, Hawaii is a good school, and Fresno State's a decent school. Depends on what Oregon State does, you know, since TCU already beat Oregon State. Um, and Boise State faces Oregon State. Depends on what Oregon State does, always does. But man, but man, when the toughest team on the schedule is Oregon State, well, Virginia Tech actually. Man, if Boise State could beat Virginia Tech. That would be incredible because Boise State at that point runs the table, relies hopefully that um, Alabama or Ohio State falls, and these guys are in the national championship. They're in the national championship by playing the likes of, of Louisiana Tech, Nevada, and Utah State. Yet Alabama has to face Florida and, you know, all of those tough SEC um, schools. Matter of fact, it's crazy. It's really, an Ohio State has to face Michigan, Iowa, you know, Looking at Alabama's schedule here, just pulled it up. They have Penn State next week. They have Penn State, Penn State, Arkansas, and Florida, and LSU, and Auburn. Yet the toughest team Boise State has to face this year is the game tomorrow night against Virginia Tech. And again, if they get past that, Oregon State. <laughs> what a joke. But that brings me to my next point. In the This is based off of the This is based off that's not what I wanted. This is based off of the AP polls. The AP Boise State's number three. Virginia Tech's number ten. By the coaches poll, Boise is number five. Virginia Tech's number six. So Virginia Tech, we talk the attention is with Boise State. But let's look, Virginia Tech. We're not we ain't really talk about them that much. Virginia Tech can put themselves in the driver's seat. You know, to if if they can run the table, which a lot of people don't think is possible, but if they can run the table, they can climb their ways into the standings. And they may put themselves in conversation. But who knows? Their schedule's not that tough either. And after Boise State, Boise State's their toughest game. They got they're at Miami. But that's like on November 20th, and they're at North Carolina the week before. Their toughest part of the schedule past tomorrow night is not until November. They also face Georgia Tech. 
the coat you, you see the point here the, the coat it's gonna take the media thinks Boise State's good but it's gonna take and Boise State by the way will move to the Mountain West next year but for Boise State and TCU their biggest challenge will be able will will be being able to convince the coaches that they absolutely belong in a national championship game in a pitcher. The worst thing that could have happened last year happened. And that is having Boise State and TCU actually face each other in a BCS bowl game. That was not what they wanted. That's really not what we wanted. Because that really, that really doesn't prove that anything. I mean, it proves who is the best mid-major school, but that's not a bigger story than can these mid-majors take down a, a name school, a big-time school. In the coaches' poll, Boise State at number five. They're behind Alabama, who's one, Ohio State's two. They're behind um, Florida and Texas. Florida is at three. Texas is at four. So how do you convince the coaches that Boise State does belong in the conversation and in the championship game while Florida and Texas is facing SEC powerhouses and Big 12 powerhouses, respectively? How, how do you convince that? And how do you convince, as well, of that fact, too, where especially in the SEC, the last four seasons, really, the SEC championship game has basically been a championship semifinal. Basically, the winner of the SEC championship game the last three, four, or five years has won has gone on to the national championship game. That's that's not something that we can uh, forget about here. It really it's not. It's not something that we should or could lose track of. You know? How do they do that? Let's answer the question. And TCU has to do the same thing. They have to dominate their opponents. They cannot have close calls with Nevada and Fresno State. It cannot happen. They have Boise State has to go out and dominate their games. TCU, unfortunately, has to hope that Boise State falls. Because the way the BCS system works can't have unless by miracle the other schools every other school has at least two losses there's no way you're gonna have Boise State versus TCU in the national championship game no way it's not gonna happen in fact even if the other bigger schools lose one game there might be a chance that those schools knock off Boise State, even if Boise State's undefeated. So they have to put themselves in the driver's seat, and they have to decimate and dominate their opponents. It has to happen. It has to happen. Boise State, to their credit, open the floodgates for mid majors. Open the floodgates now. The team that put the key in the door, the key in the gate, was Utah. It was Utah when they had their Fiesta Bowl um, victory. I believe it was back in 2005. I believe it was, a, I forgot who it was against. It might have been Pittsburgh, but it was, you know, it was against somebody, but it was in the Fiesta Bowl. But... Boise State, with their game against Oklahoma in that very memorable 07 Fiesta Bowl, really opened up the floodgates for the mid-majors to break through. 
Now, now those time they have to execute and come through because the road is not going to be easy. The season for Boise State is basically tailored made if they're able to pull off the victory tomorrow night against Virginia Tech. They, they, have to, they have to do it. If not, this discussion is a moot. Boise stays out of it for the rest of the season. It's really, if you want, you cannot ask for a more bigger stipulation for a week one game. Because that's what college football is. People want to play off. Well, every week of the season in college football, you have yourself a playoff. You have a playoff every single week. If you lose one game, more than likely you're out of the championship pitcher. We talked a lot about Boys State. I want to talk about TCU schedule. And then I want to talk about, we're going to get to the pros uh, momentarily, but I want to expand more on this a little bit. And I'm going to give you my prediction on who will be in the championship game, who will win it. Um, it's kind of late, but based on the week one standings, who will win it, and um, why do I think it's the case? I'll have that for you next.